It seems like the principle of least action is just way too complicated. It is so unnecessary. Who would ever use this, you know, when you could just use Newton's second law? Like, that's a piece of cake. Your options are either use all of this or just start with F equals MA. And they give you the same answer. Why ever use the principle of least action? Well, that's because Euler and Lagrange came up with a way to make all of this like super, super simple. If this is the action, then t minus v is called the Lagrangian. Now let's replace everything we did before with the Lagrangian. Then you see that the principle of least action works whenever this differential equation is satisfied. So all you have to do now, if you want to solve any mechanics problem, is you just write down the kinetic and potential energy, and you plug it into this equation, and you're done. And that becomes extremely powerful. I remember thinking, man, force is like hard to get the right answer. You can do it if you're good, and people who are good at mechanics can do it. But with the Lagrangian approach, you have this machine crank out the principle of least action on it, and you get the right equation to motion, and you don't have to be a good physicist. That was what <laughs> I took from it, that as a math guy, I can do physics thanks to Lagrange and Euler. And it doesn't just work in one dimension. 